Today on the table, I've got a HP Pavilion U360 convertible PC with the model number 13U027TU. So as we can figure out from the model number, this one is a 13 inch HP and it's got a cracked touch panel. Separating the, touch, the display and touch panel from the frame is quite easy. You should be able to push your hands in the back and you should be able to pop the screen out something similar to this. Do be aware that the bottom stays connected in and also the flex connectors live down there. So you should be able to work from the top, push the top out and eventually fold the screen down to the keyboard. So I've zoomed in the footage just a little bit to make it a bit easier to see. Now we'll be making a start here by using a pair of tweezers and lifting the tape up. And then the LCD connector should be able to be detached. There's a little bit of tape here that connects to a PCB. So I'll disconnect that. And I did also disconnect the connectors on the touch panel. Just to make it a bit easier to remove. The other alternative, instead of disconnecting these, is just folding the PCB upwards and then the cord should be able to come out under there. There's one, one little cord here which goes to the touch panel. You should be able to flick that up and then pull it back. And then from there you should be able to snake the cable out, as you can see. Now there's two ways you can go about reinstalling the cable. You can either start at the LCD connector itself and work your way back, which is what I do here, or you can feed it in nearer to the screen or where it starts at the other end and work your way to the LCD connector. Also here I folded up the PCB board and then ran the cable underneath that rather than disconnecting the touch panel flex connectors. So there's one little cable clip that is in the way. The cable is just not quite long enough to reach, so I'm just trying to bend that out of the way. So you may be able to get over this, or you can just remove it. Entirely up to you.
relatively happy where that cable's running and all the connectors are in. I'll fold it up from the bottom, make sure the screen's pressed in down the bottom half nearest to the keyboard to begin with. If it doesn't clip in right down the bottom, it's not going to fit properly. And you should just be able to squeeze it with a nice even amount of pressure all around the screen. And from there, you should hopefully successfully put it back in. I do have a little bit of drama in this corner here. All I do to rectify that is just open it up once more and try it again. Anyway, that's all you really need for this video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.